to New York. You know, they turned it up defensively in the second half, and um, that allowed them to get out in transition, allowed them to get going a little bit um, offensively, and you know, they just they did what they're capable of doing and what, what we expected them to do. Um, you know, I think every game that they play together, you're going to see a little bit more cohesiveness on both ends of the floor. You know, for us, um, certainly disappointed because you want to come away with the win, but at the same time, I felt like our execution on both ends of the floor wasn't where it needed to be uh, when, you're, when we're playing a team like New York. Seth, in, in terms of that second half, so, you know, shooting 28%, shots are going to go, they're not going to go. Did you feel like, A, you were getting the shots you wanted, and B, were the people you wanted to be taking the game? For instance, you know, AT had five shot attempts for the game until the second half. Yeah, not necessarily. You know, I felt like we, we, we held the ball a lot in the second half. Um, we settled for on-ball screens instead of using off-ball screening actions. Um, we got stagnant. We got stagnant. And when you get stagnant, uh, there's too many one-on-one -on -one opportunities. You know, teams can load up. They can, they can rotate quickly and easily. Um, I didn't feel like we forced them to defend multiple actions and multiple sides of the floor in the second half. I just feel like it's that you know, we saw a lot of time in the fourth quarter. Um, you know, was that part of the idea of trying to sort of get out of the mud? I just feel like a better phrase. For with whom? With tie outs. Oh, and no, it's you know we just we have to find ways to, to get uh, tie minutes and get tie experience and um, you know it's there's a comfort level obviously with that starting group um, and and so for us it's it's finding the right times. Um, I think we are substitute substitutes in. Um, offensively and defensively, you know, there's some matchups we didn't like when they went big. I mean, we can't, you know, it's for, for us, we didn't like that matchup when we went small um, when they went big. You know, they, they have a lineup that they can put out there that, you know, I think Laney's at the two and, um, and, and you've, you've got, you know, multiple players that, that are not just tall and long, but strong. execution in terms of, of who we wanted taking shots and how and where. Um, we, we did a, a pretty decent job. Um, you know, and sometimes it's just them not quite getting into their flow. I mean, th those are three players that you're just, you're not going to stop them. You just have to try to make things difficult. I thought we made it a little more difficult in the first half. But it's tough defensively um, when you're turning the ball over, right, and when they get out of transition. I mean, it's tough for us to be able to set our defense and be able to limit them. Uh, or when you're not taking shots in rhythm of offense, you're having a one-on-one, -on -one, kind of chuck something up, long rebounds, lead to run outs. And so when we weren't able to set our defense um, because of offensive execution, one way or another, uh, I felt like they were able to take advantage and really get hot and, and, and get confident. Steph, you've been playing, and understand the show, AT a lot. You know, I know she yeah. was like 38 minutes per game coming in today, 33 today. How hard is it to take AT out of the game? And, you know, do you have a number in mind? Like, what, what's what's best for operating with her over the course of the season? It is hard to take her off the floor. I mean, because she, she just does so many things, um, so many important things that are, that are good for us. Um, not just the winning plays that she makes, but the level of intensity and toughness that she brings. I mean, it just sets the tone for everybody around her. And if she's not on the floor, you miss that. Um, you, you miss it. You can see it, but you can also feel it. Um, I don't have a number in my mind. You know, I certainly don't want her to have to play 38 minutes of ball game. You know, she's a player who's used to playing nine minutes, so she can do that. Um, but I want to be able to to find ways for her to be efficient in the minutes that she plays, and for us to find you know better ways to, to give her a blow. Hey, coach, um, even after today's loss, um, you you won so many first losses this season. Even though it's early, you got to still Pretty sure in that locker room, that expectation is high. That that's expected. But from the outside looking in, it's not expected. Um, at least from certainly, it's not expected. Um, I mean, what do you really say to your team after today? I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're not down about it. But what is just talk about the character of your team being at this spot of where they are right now? Well, I, you know, I'm not sure why people were surprised. You know, we returned a core group that's been really successful. Um, but we also return a group that used to be in the underdog. So I, they don't think they get caught up in that. 
you know, we don't get caught up in that. We don't really care what people are talking about. We just want to go out and do our job to the best of our ability every day and position ourselves to, to win basketball games. You know, after today, you know, it's certainly disappointing that we didn't come away with a win, disappointing that we didn't execute the way that we needed to in certain situations. Um, but that's where we have to, to just go back to the film, to watch it, and to be better next time. We're not going to go undefeated in this league. I mean, this league is too good. And night in and night out, we have to bring our best effort to position ourselves for victory. Some days it's going to happen and some days it isn't. Now, how we, how we grow from this, how we learn from those moments that might have been momentum-changing moments, um, you know, is, is going to be – it's going to be key, but I have no doubt. Certainly, we're disappointed, um, but we have a group that's that's going to be ready to come back and, and, and get back to work. And Steph, just in terms of Leo, mm -hmm. you know, someone you bring in late in camp, and obviously somebody who brings a mentality that I would imagine is both familiar and very much what you're looking for as a player. Just take me through the impact you think she's had, and you know, especially in sort of the non-American side of the ball. Well. I mean, Leah Brown's come in, and she really, prior to this week, only had one practice with us, and she had to guard Della Don and Stewie. So welcome to the WTF. Um, you know, I think she can be a really important piece um, for us moving forward. She has the versatility um, to play multiple positions um, for us. You know, she's got the toughness that, that I think really is, is conducive to this group, that grittiness, that toughness. Um, and she's got a skill set that will um, allow her offensively, I think, to be a tough matchup. Um, but again, she's a rookie. Like, there's no substitute for experience. So we just have to continue to get her out there and get her reps and get her reps in practice, get her more comfortable and confident in what we're trying to do offensively, in the way that we do things defensively, um, and, and just try to continue to get her reps. Very good. Don, you can. I apologize if you I've already been asked this, but from what you saw from them in the second half in New York, does that give you, is that kind of a glimpse of what they can be if they do get the chemistry and cohesion, which may take time to, to do a moment of the players? I don't think you're going to get anybody that sits up here and, and says that they, that they don't think that's what they can be. I mean, you know, certainly on paper, you look at this roster um, and, and, you know, you, you think that they have an opportunity to be exceptional. Um, now, we've seen a lot of these of teams like this that have had opportunities to be exceptional. Some of them have gone on to do that, some of them haven't. Um, what they are is a matchup nightmare. You know, it's really tough because they have balanced scoring in, in all areas and players who are capable of going off at any minute. Um, and they have a, a really high IQ team who take advantage when you make mistakes. Um, whether that's, you know, making mistakes in coverages or rotations and getting wide open threes making mistakes ball watching and get backdoor cuts, um, make mistakes and not finishing plays and giving up offensive rebounds. I mean, that's, that's um, you cannot play this team and, and there's such a small margin for error. You have to, to, to be intense and have a high attention to detail every single possession. You just can't relax. Um, and and so, so, yeah, I certainly think that, you know, as the season goes on, I expect this team to continue to gel and get better. So to follow up on that, what separates the teams that go on to be exceptional and the ones that, that don't meet the level of expectations? Well, I mean, you know, as someone who's not inside those huddles and inside those locker rooms and inside those practices, you know, I, I think the thing that separates them is, is the, which teams are, are willing to give up self for team, right? Which, te which players are willing to make the extra pass? Which player is willing to set the big screen? which players, while understanding that they can take the big shot, are making the extra pass to get somebody else the big shot. Um, I think it's, uh, it's in certain moments knowing when to take over um, and, and, and knowing you know, when, to, when to sort of let go of the reins a little bit. Um, you know, that's, that's my opinion. You know, connect the teams, win championships. Um, and, and I think that I, I believe that with all my heart. Um, I think when you see those teams that, that are quote unquote super teams that, that come together, um, and play together and play well together and sacrifice self for team, that's when they win championships.